Hello everyone, welcome to another word video. So today we'll look at creating new word documents and saving word documents. So to create a new document, you can open up word and then click on new on the left. And when you click on new, it will show you that you can create a blank document or you can select one of the templates that are available in Word. So if you scroll down the page, you'll see different templates that you can choose from. And if you want to narrow down your search, for example, if you want a template of a resume, you can type resume in the search and press enter on your keyboard and it will display all resume templates that are available as you can see here plenty of templates to choose from all right let's click on back to go back to the new document page again so in this instance i'm going to select blank document So by default, the blank document will be in portrait mode and the size will be usually in A4 size, that's 21 centimeters by 29.7 centimeters. And you'll see the margins at the top here. So that's the top margin and that's the margin on the side. So if you can't see these margins, you can click on view at the top and then click on ruler so in my instance it's ticked so i can see the rulers or the margins if you untick this it will make margins disappear and if you tick the ruler checkbox it will make margins appear the flashing cursor indicates that that's where you'll start typing so let's start typing here now. So I'll type in this is a test document. And then if you press the enter key, it will keep a space and drop the line as well. Meaning that's the end of a paragraph. As you can see here, there's a space in between the line above and then the next line starts from here. So you can also type in all caps if you want. So I'll type this. This is a test document. It's always good to save your document when you have typed something out. So at the top here, it will display that the document name is document 5 because I have not saved the document. So there are a number of ways you can save your Word documents. So you can click on the save icon at the top left here so these are the quick access buttons or you can click on file and click on either save or save as so when you've already saved a document and you need to save changes you can click on save and then save as saves document if you have not saved it initially in this instance i'll click on save as and then i will click on browse to browse to the location on my computer so i'm going to save this in my downloads folder okay so as you can see here the f file name it usually picks out the text in the first line so the extension for word documents is dot docx and then you get the save as type as well so as you can see it's a word document in the new word format which is dot docx it's called docx and if you click on the save as type drop down menu you can get different types so doc, doc is the old version 
and then you can save the document as PDF as well as you can see here you get the PDF version and you get different other types here as well so for now we will save this as a docx which is a word document and I'm going to change the name of the document so what I'll do is I will keep the cursor after the last letter and then I'll delete everything here and then I'll name this as test document and hit the save button you might not get this pop up on your word version but I'm just going to click on OK alright so if you look at the top here now will show you the file name here which I put in so it's called test document so previously it was document 4 because I had not saved the document so and it also shows that it is saved to this PC so that confirms that you have saved the document so if I type something else here so if I go to the next line I finish typing it will no longer say that this document is saved to the PC so if I click on the save icon here it shows that the document has been saved to this PC so that's a clear indication to you that you have not saved changes made in the document so guys that's how you create a new word document and save your new word document so hope you like the video give the thumbs up if you like the video and stay tuned for the next word video thanks for watching see you in the next one